Welcome back. In this video, we will see what are the linear equations in two variables and how do we find the solution of that linear equation algebraically and geometrically. Now, we all know what a linear equation in one variable. Example, say x plus 2 is equal to 3. This is an algebraic equation and there is only one variable. Okay, so this is called and the power of the variable is 1. Okay, so we say that this is a linear equation in one variable. Okay, the power or the degree is 1. That's why it's a linear equation. If I write x plus y is equal to 2. What is the degree of this equation? The degree is the highest power of the variable and the degree is 1. And since the degree is 1, this is again a linear equation. And how many variables are there? There are two variables. So, linear equation in two variables. Okay, I hope this much is clear. What is linear equation in two variables? Now, <clears throat> what do we mean by solving or finding the solution of this linear equation in two variables? So, let us see what does it mean algebraically. We have an equation, the same equation we will take, x plus y is equal to 2. We know solving an equation means getting those values of the variable for which the left hand side of the equation becomes equal to the right hand side. Those values of the variable is called the solution of the equation. And now we will try to find the solution of the equation x plus y is equal to 2. Okay, so we are trying to find the solution in this particular case algebraically. We are trying to find the algebraic solution of the given equation. <clears throat> now let us find out the values of x and y such that x plus y should equate, equate to 2. Let us form a table values of x and y such that x plus y should be equal to 2. So if I take x is 0 and y is 2 then this particular pair adds up to 2 which is our right hand side. If I take um, x is 1 and y is 1 then 1 plus 1 which is 2 which is equal to the right hand side. If I take x is 2 and y is 0 then again 2 plus 0 gives us a 2 or maybe x is negative 2 and y is 4 then again negative 2 plus 4 gives us a 2. What do we see? That we can have infinite pairs infinite pairs of values of x and y which satisfies x plus y is equal to 2 and that is true with any linear equation in two variable you can have infinite pairs of the values of x and y which satisfies the given linear equation in two variables. So here <clears throat> if we see then 0 comma 2 this ordered pair 0 comma 2 is one solution 1 comma 1 is one solution 2 comma 0 is one solution minus 2 comma 4 is one solution and there can be <clears throat> infinitely pay, uh, many pairs of the values of x and y and all these infinite pairs are called the solution 
of the given equation okay so we are able to find out the solution of the given equation algebraically now let us see what does it mean by graphical solution so when we say that our equation has infinite pair of solution we took our equation as x plus y is equal to 2 and we took the values of x and y which satisfies the equation you took x is 0 y is 2 x is 2 y is 0 x is 1 y is 1 x is minus 1 so y is 3 x is 3 y is minus 1 and so on and what are these ordered pair if we look at it carefully what are these ordered pair geometrically it means It means that all these points lie on the line which represents the above equation the above linear equation geometrically it means that all these point which point these pairs if you try plotting this line then all these points lie on the line when we try plotting it okay suppose I, I just need two points to plot a line so I take x is 0, y is 2, x is 2 and y is 0 such that x plus y becomes equal to 2. Fine. So let us plot it here. So when x is 0, y is 2. So this is the point here. And when x is 2, y is 0. So this is the point here. If we try drawing a line, then the line will be something like this. Okay, and we will see that all these point 1 comma 1 if you bring this point here See the coordinate of this point is 1 comma 1 If you take say minus 1 and you take it up if you draw the exact graph You will figure out that the y value corresponding to this is 3 so minus 1 comma 3 and what are all these these are nothing but these solutions so the infinite pair of a values of x and y are nothing but the point that lies on the line and vice versa any point that lie on the line become its solution so i hope this much is very clear what is linear equation in two variable and how one particular equation can have infinite val pairs of values of x and y which can satisfy it which can be called its solution in the subsequent videos we will see the linear equations in two variables. We will see simultaneous linear equations and we will also see how to solve two simultaneous linear equations graphically and algebraically using the substitution and elimination and other techniques. If you have any doubts regarding solving linear equations in two variables, you can send me an email at kirti.mathacademy at gmail.com. This is my YouTube channel Math Academy. Please don't forget to subscribe if you have liked my videos. Thank you so much.